Behold, I have found a matte sunscreen. Yep, you heard that right. I have found a mattifying sunscreen. So my friend who has oily skin actually recommended this to me. So I decided to test it myself. Okay, so I'm talking about Vichy Ideal Soleil SPF 50 Mattifying Dry Touch Face Fluid. And Vichy claims that this is paraben free, hypoallergenic, and non comedogenic formula with mixoral based broad spectrum UVA and UVB filters. And it's also enriched with Vichy Thermal Spa Water. Okay, so first let's see what is it that is creating that mattifying effect. Okay, so this formulation has silica and aluminum starch octanyl succinate, which both have great oil absorbing abilities, and they are responsible for creating that matte effect on the skin. Now let's see, how well is this sunscreen protecting us from the sun? Let's go through the ingredients really quick. Okay, so this sunscreen has nine UV filters uh, and this particular one that I'm testing today is from Europe and I know that the US version is different so just be warned the US version is quite different and it does have alcohol in it and it has three uh, less UV filters than this one. So this just a little heads up in case you're watching from the States. So European version of the sunscreen has four UVB filters, three combined UVA UVB filters and two solely UVA filters. Some of the important UV filters that I would like to mention are Tinosorb M, Mixoral XL, Mixoral SX, Titanium Dioxide, and Ava Benzen. Ava Benzen is a globally available chemical sunscreen agent that provides you with proper UVA protection. So this is a great UVA filter, but the problem is that it's not photostable and it degrades in the sunlight. But it can be stabilized with octocrylin, and octocrylin is also included in this formulation. Then we have Tinosorb. M. Um, this is a hybrid sunscreen agent because it has the properties of a chemical sunscreen and a physical sunscreen agent. And this is a newer generation that gives you a nice broad spectrum coverage and it's highly photostable. Okay, then we have two L'Oreal Group exclusive agents, Mixoral SX, which protects you from UVA and Mixoral XL, which protects you from both UVA and UVB and is highly photostable. And these are kind of a big deal. They are the stars of the show here because um, these are patented by L'Oreal and only L'Oreal owned companies can include them in their products and of course Vichy is owned by L'Oreal. And the last one that I would like to mention here is titanium dioxide. Uh, this is an old school physical sunscreen agent and this one gives you a nice broad spectrum coverage and is also highly stable and it has a great safety profile. Okay so based on the UV filters we can see that this one is providing us with some serious UV and UVA protection but as I mentioned mentioned in the previous video for some reason they didn't include a separated UVA rating but they did put a claim that this is a broad spectrum sunscreen and broad spectrum means that the UVA protection has to be at least one third of the claimed SPF protection yeah so it is broad spectrum but I kind of wish they included a separate UVA rating because UV filters in this uh, sunscreen are very promising so I wish they included a separated UVA rating but it is what it is and any Anyways, UVB rating is included and is very high, it's SPF 50. If you would like to know more about UVA and UVB ratings and the difference between UVA and UVB rays, you can check out this video that I already posted on my channel. Okay, let's get back to this review now. Vichy claims that this is non-comedogenic and this does not have uh, a lot of comedogenic ingredients. It only has a couple of comedogenic ingredients and luckily they are not highly comedogenic, so in theory it shouldn't give you breakouts. And lastly, before before I show you how it performs on the skin, I have to mention that this formulation has perfume. So in case you are sensitive to fragrances in your products, then be warned. Okay, now let's see how this performs on the skin. So as you can see, the formulation is on the thicker side, but it's easily spreadable and at first it feels very moisturizing and it gives you a subtle glow. But don't worry, after a while it goes matte and your skin is completely matte to the touch. As the name says, it is indeed dry touch. How it performs underneath makeup? Well, this depends on your skin type. If you're oily, you will love it. And if you have a dry skin like me, then maybe not so much. You will not love it that much. This makes my foundation look patchy and cakey. And uh, my friend uh, that has oily skin actually loves it. So it really comes down to your skin type. Anyways, that would be all regarding the claims and ingredients. Now stay tuned because after this I will be sharing with you my final opinion regarding this sunscreen. 
Just in case you're new to this channel, let me just introduce myself really quickly. My name is Danny, and I am a pharmacist specialized in cosmetology and that's why I make these fun informative videos in which I analyze ingredients of makeup and cosmetic products, mainly skincare though. So if you're interested in this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future uploads. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's talk about this mattifying face fluid by Vichy. Is it good or not? What is my final verdict on it? First, let's discuss how matte is this? So in the beginning, I said it is a matte sunscreen. I have found a matte sunscreen and it is indeed a matte sunscreen. It does have two ingredients that have great oil absorbing abilities that are creating that mattifying effect on the skin. So this is truly a matte sunscreen and I was really surprised. This is the first time that I have found a truly matte, completely matte sunscreen. As you know, La Roche-Posay wasn't really matte and the other one, Don and Fluid by Sundance even though it had a claim that it is matte it wasn't matte so that often happens with sunscreens they have a claim that they are matte and they are not matte in the, in the end but this one truly is mattifying and it does have the ingredients that mattify your skin so there you go okay now let's see how does this perform underneath makeup well this depends on your skin type if you have oily skin then you will love this for underneath makeup and actually my friend who has oily skin recommended this cream to me and she loves it she wears it underneath makeup and she says that her makeup looks amazing she's mad she doesn't get shiny throughout the day so this will be great for underneath makeup if you are oily but if you have dry skin like me then you will not love it that much or at least you will not love it during winter and during cold days maybe in the summer but during winter and during cold days you will not love it for underneath makeup like right now my foundation is looking decent it just completely mattified but throughout the day foundation will start looking patchy the foundation will start cracking <laughs> all over my face so it does not look pretty trust me so during the cold days I would only recommend this sunscreen for oily skin types because right now it's fall here and I cannot wear it under makeup but I think I would have loved it during summer because La Roche-Posay was kind of too much for me um, during summer even though my skin is dry and I had to set it with, with some uh, face powder so yeah it's a pity that I didn't get this one during summer but the good thing is that this one has period after opening 12 months so you can use it after opening it it's not going to expire for another 12 months so, so that means that I still have time to use it up until next September so bottom line is uh, the depends on your skin type. On dry skin types, it won't perform well, the foundation will look patchy, but on oily skin types, it will look great. Okay, next category, how high is the protection? Okay, so this is SPF 50 broad spectrum UVA UVB SPF 50. What that means is that the UVA is at least one third of the claimed SPF. That's what broad spectrum means. Now, unfortunately, they didn't include a separated UVA rating, which I'm kind of sad about that because those UV filters promise a lot because this one has Mixoral XL, Mixoral SX. These are the L'Oreal group exclusive agents that can only be found in L'Oreal owned companies and Vichy is of course uh, owned by L'Oreal. So it does have the same uh, six UV filters that were that were included in La Roche-Posay Shaka Fluid and then it has three more on top of that. So it does have a lot of UV filters and it seems to me that it does provide you with a serious UVA and UVB protection, but they don't have a separated UVA rating. So because of that, I have no way of knowing how high the UVA protection is, but based on the broad spectrum claim, it's at least one third of the claimed UVB protection. So you do get both UVA and UVB protection here so that's um, that's good okay now I do have some cons regarding this sunscreen that I would like to mention first one is that you cannot apply this on your under eye area so you will have to use a separated sunscreen for your under eyes okay so con number two is that if you have dry skin you won't be able to layer this sunscreen because it starts to peel off that was my personal experience when I wanted to layer it it started peeling off but then I called my friend Lenka who has oily skin and I asked her like can you layer this can you please try layering it so that I would know what to say in the video and she she says she has no problems uh, with layering it so if you are oily you'll be good to go but if you're dry be warned third con is I think I already mentioned this but let me mention it again of course during the colder days dry skin cannot 
handle this sunscreen. It's too mattifying for dry skin. For oily skin, it's a bomb, but for dry skin, not so much. If you have dry skin, you can try this one out in the summer, but during the cold days, stay away. Okay, so my final verdict and final opinion regarding this sunscreen is that this is a great sunscreen. It does have some great UVA and UVB uh, filters. It does provide you with high broad spectrum protection. Yeah, it is a great sunscreen and it is really mattifying. It's a truly mattifying sunscreen. And if you are oily, you're going to love this. If you have dry skin, just don't use it during the cold days. And that's pretty much it. Now, there you have it. That would be it regarding this video. If you enjoyed, please Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!